Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily update on Ethereum. It's also what we'll talk about. We'll do a full technical update and also a, a full fundamental update on Ethereum. There's, there's quite a lot we need to talk about in relation to the entire crypto market, but uh, that obviously has to do with Ethereum as well. And Ethereum usually um, reacts very well to that or reacts quite a bit to that. Um, and just overall, overall, just kind of wanted to do an introduction to the weekend. The, the, the Friday is usually quite volatile, so we'll talk about the, the possibilities today. And just in, in general, what I expect. Uh, the market yesterday was overall pretty bullish in the beginning, but overall just neutral, consolidating. Um, so I actually think right now, if you, if you just take a look at the market structure to kind of do an introduction on the technical analysis, if you take a look at the market structure, like the EMAs right here are, are falling flat, kind of around 1860. Usually they're in the middle of the consolidation. So that would mean, and I also think that's in line with the, with the general direction of the market, uh, after finding some sort of a bearish confirmation at around 1860, I think at this point of time, it's most likely that we'll drop down to this level around 1810 and 1800. Um, however, like I said, I mean, the Friday is, uh, is very volatile and often unpredictable. So we'll talk about basically uh, all different scenarios and, and what I think is most likely. But that's what we'll do in this video. Uh, before we get into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. I think we've, um, yeah, I think we, we are closing almost our, our sixth consecutive profit profitable week. You can also ask around in the Telegram group uh, to other people in the, in the group, but we're making money. I would say it's the best, uh, one of the best signal groups on YouTube out there. If you want to join that, if you're interested in that, check that, uh, check out the links. But uh, now let's dive into uh, let's dive into Ethereum. So I already kind of introduced the market structure. That's what I think right now. Um, one of the reasons, like for example, I, I do think we'll right now we're still holding on to this level around 1830. Um, I think we found some significant resistance by finding resistance right here around 1860. So that's one of the one of the reasons why I think we will at least need a little bit more of a bearish move and, and see some more bearish momentum. But then on the other side, if we're taking a look at the price history of Ethereum, what you'll see is that usually we drop down all the way to 1780. I think that's a possibility, but that's not what I expect. I actually expect that 1800 level to hold, which is a little bit of a weird thing because even though 1800 is a psychological support level, it really is not that strong of a support level altogether. So the reason why I think we can actually hold that is because next week I actually do expect some bullish momentum. Um, yesterday we got the uh, yesterday we got the initial jobless claims, which were higher than expected. So that's bearish for the dollar strength index, and that's bullish for the outcome of the interest rate decision next week. And what you usually see is that the market kind of prices that in earlier. So I do expect some bullish momentum for, for Ethereum somewhere in the next couple of days. It's just that I think on the on the short term before that, I still think we'll drop down a little bit, which is always risky to say because, um, you know, I'm telling you right now that I think we'll drop down. It could also be that I'm, that I'm wrong and that it will be like, for example, that this Friday will be volatile the other way that will actually have bullish momentum. And then all of a sudden we'll have a rally up to 1940. I don't think that's unrealistic, even with the SEC suing Binance and, and Coinbase. I don't think that's unrealistic. Like Friday is usually volatile because a lot of institutions and market makers close their positions. I'm not sure at this point in time. Usually I have a little bit more of a, of a clear overview on that. I'm not sure if right now they have, uh, they, they have long positions or short positions. Uh, if they have short positions, I don't think they have, by the way, but if they do, then we would have some, some bullish momentum. Now, like I said, I think it's more likely still that we'll drop down, but it's, um, it's just to give you an idea of my, uh, my, my view on the markets right now. So that's what I expect, something like this probably. And then uh, based on how much support we'll get from that level, we'll kind of estimate uh, how high we can rally from there or if we can rally at all. But um, I'll, keep that, um, I'll keep that for the next update. For now, this is my take on Ethereum. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.